Right, hi everyone. Right, this is Rob Terry, the face behind the channel, which is Our Place in the Sun. And I've come on to do this video because I think it's quite important actually, because there's a lot of misconception going on. Now, obviously we've just got back from Spain, we've been back for a couple of days now. And whilst we was out there at the back end of October, beginning of November, there were some really serious weather conditions up in Valencia and other areas, but mainly focused in Valencia. And obviously our heart goes out to the people there and many, many thanks to all the people that are up there doing their bit and helping out. But I am just, even now, I'm still seeing so much, and it, to be fair, it's not just in Spain, but it's in the UK as well, so much confusion about this storm, Dana. Now, a lot of people have walked around going, oh, look at the damage, look at the damage this storm Dana's caused. But what they're actually saying is the name is Dana. It's not. Storm Dana is actually, um, it's, a, it's a set of weather conditions and um, I've got some stuff here, I've got some notes here, because I think it's so important, some of this I will read, because I want to get the terminology right, and exactly everything right with what I'm saying about it. So um, I'm seeing YouTubers out there walking around, giving it the big and saying, look, Storm Dharma, look at the damage she's caused, that's not the case. Um, and then back in the UK as well, there's the same thing back in the UK, there's this really big um, sort of misconception that Storm Dana was actually the name of the storm because in the UK we get a storm that kind of thing the, the Met Office they go out and they name it to tell people what it is but Storm Dana and it, this will come out in some of the stuff which I am going to read because like I say I think it's really important to make sure we get this right so I will read some of this stuff um, to make sure that people are getting exactly the correct information rather than a lot of the stuff which is being all just spouted about that is not correct. So some of it can read, some of it we'll talk about and that kind of thing, but hopefully it'll give you guys a little bit more of an idea of what a storm Dana is. Like I say, um, it'll come out when I start talking about it, um, but in Spain, um, there was a disruptive weather system, which is basically when the cold air meets and warm air meet together and produce powerful rain clouds and a, pla and a pattern this is where you realise that I can't read and I'm really bad, but never mind. A pattern believed to be growing more frequently due to climate change. The phenomenon known locally as a Dana, so it's a weather phenomenon, guys. It's not the name of the storm, it's a weather phenomenon, is a Spanish acronym for high altitude isolated depression. And unlike other common forms of storm or schools, it can be formed independently from polar or subtropical jets. So... Um, it's, it's actually a weather pattern that can form by itself. Now, when the cold air blows over to the warm air, over the Mediterranean waters, it causes the hot air to rise quickly and form dense water-laden clouds that can then remain over the same area for many hours, raising the destructive potential. The event sometimes provokes a large hailstorm and tornadoes are seen very quickly and very recently, meteorologists are saying. This episode that hit the area of Valencia was the most deadly in modern Spanish history and the most catastrophic flood event in Europe since 1967. So that goes to show how far back it is, guys. And this is probably all tied up with the global warming that we are all... We know it's there, but a lot of people are still denying it. A bit like when we had COVID, you know, it was, it was all just like white man's magic and all that sort of thing. So, so Eastern Europe and Spain in particular are susceptible to this phenomenon due to the position between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Warm, humid air masses and cold fronts meet in a region where the mountains favour the formation of storm clouds and rainfall. Last week's Dana, so Dana, like I say, is this weather phenomenon, not the name. I have to keep saying that to drive it home because so many people are still going around and saying it, both UK and in Spain. So last week's Dana was one of the three intense storms ever recorded in this century in the Valencia region. Um, according to many spokespeople from the National Weather Agencies, People like the, Met, the, the Spanish weather agencies, that thing, are saying it's one of the worst three in the last like hundred odd years. In the province of Valencia, rainfall exceeded 300 litres per square metre. In that area, storm systems formed and regenerated continuously, continuously. Meteorologists said that a year's worth of rain had fallen in eight hours in parts of that Valencia region on the 29th. So you can imagine the amount of that now. We've all seen the big storm drains and things like that out there, but like 300 litres per square metre of water. You imagine what that is. So a metre squared of square water, so a metre cubed would be sort of 300 mil high by a metre by a metre. So that is a phenomenal, that's a foot of water falling over a metre square. Um, whilst experts say it's going to take time to analyse all this data to determine the particular 
the particulars of this dana was caused by, they are not sure whether it was caused by climate change or not. Most agree that increasing temperatures of the Med Sea and the Mediterranean and warmer and more humid atmospheric conditions contribute to producing more frequent extreme weather episodes. So basically, like I say, so many people are going around in the UK, in Spain. I mean, I've seen loads of YouTube videos of people walking about saying, look at this, Storm Dana, thinking that Storm Dana, Dana is actually the name, it is not. Dana is not the name. Dana is a weather phenomenon, which is basically where the, the high altitude isolation depression and all of those sort of things. So it's an acronym of that. So make sure you're talking about it in right. So I got all this information off of the, the National Weather Agency, which is on there. That's where it comes from and tells us about it. So I know that information is absolutely bang on and correct, Kurt. A lot of other people are out there wandering around and people in the UK as well. And it, it's, it's kind of a thing because you think, oh, Storm Dana, that's the name of it. I do get that. And... Um, but it's not, it's actually just a bit of misinformation that you're getting. And, you you know, we're, we're then, when you're doing it and passing it on, that's feeding it on to other people. So it's not correct. And obviously, um, the, 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 the clear up, up in Valencia is going to go on for ages. There's been motorways washed away. There's been all sorts of damage. Underground car parks. I mean, it just goes to show never park in the underground car parks. The Spain love the underground car parks, but from now on, I seriously, whenever we're out there, we won't be looking at getting into an underground car park for exactly that reason. Because as soon as you're in there, you get four metre high water coming towards you. You ain't getting out from underneath it. So, um, so obviously, massive thoughts out. And well done to the Valencian uh people that are actually there. I mean, so many thousands of people have turned up. Um, Toraveca communities have done stuff. They've done like big, not fundraisers, but drop-off centers so that people can do it. So rather than actually trying to go up there and help out, you just go to the place and you drop the stuff off. Um, and then they get it up there because what they don't want is you getting stuck, you causing problems when they're trying to sort the people out that are up there. So obviously there's a massive amount of work going on. We've seen other videos of people where they've been dropping stuff off at the donation centre, that kind of thing. Fantastic work, guys. Keep all of that up and try everybody else, try and cut down a bit on the misinformation that's being passed around because I am seeing people, and there's people with like 10,000 followers plus um, walking around, giving it the big and sound about this storm down, look at the damage she's caused and that sort of thing. And like I say, the same back in the UK, talking to a couple of guys in the office and they're thinking Storm Dana is actually the name of the storm. Um, they don't know any better. You'd like that you say, you don't know what you don't know. So hopefully this video will go through a bit more to clarify and help people understand what it is. So please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of those kind of things if you're still listening to me ramble. Obviously, I think about only... 95% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribers, they're completely new, and they never do subscribe, so please do subscribe, guys. It does not cost you a penny. It's totally free, it's really simple to do, and there's plenty of um, information out there on how to subscribe easily, quickly. It's not a problem, so do so, guys. In the meantime, hope this video helped clarify a few things, and we'll speak to you all later on. See you soon when we're back out in the uh, in our sunny place out in Torrevecca.